ain't trying if you ain't trying your best huh? they want to see me six feet under but i'm watching my steps now everybody watching me like after two guinness world records danny brooks has teamed up with colin crowther and together have challenged themselves to raise three thousand pounds on behalf of the football club's chosen charities by the end of the 2013-2014 football season introducing the throwing challenge Using his unique world record breaking throwing technique, Danny will throw footballs from 40 metres away towards one end of the pitch. At the end of the pitch, a grid has been allocated. The grid is made up of four areas. The 18-yard box, the 6-yard box, the goal and the crossbar. This grid plays an integral part in the completion of the throwing challenge. Most football clubs take a specific interest in the stats that opposing teams visiting them throughout the season accumulate to help prepare them. So here are some stats for you. Where will the money raised go? You choose. Every single penny raised will go to the club's chosen charity. How much money will you need to donate? You choose. The amount of money raised will be determined by how the half-time entertainment is set up, which is also chosen by you, the club. What do you, the club, get out of this? Well, an extremely entertaining half-time interval performance. So, you make all the decisions, and it doesn't stop there. We've designed three different performances to choose from. Yet again, you, the club, get to decide what happens during the half-time performance. Option one involves sponsored throws. This option would involve you, the club, securing a different sponsor for each of the five throws. Then a challenge is set by the sponsor of that particular throw. If Danny successfully completes the challenge set, the sponsor will donate an agreed amount to the club's chosen charity. However, failure to complete the challenge set would result in only half the agreed amount donated by the sponsor. Here you can see an example with the sponsor and amounts used just for this example. The first throw has been sponsored by DC Roofing, who have challenged Danny to land the ball in the six-yard box, and if successful, they will donate £200 to the club's chosen charity. Failure would result in only £100 being donated by DC Roofing. Danny then proceeds to throw the ball 40 metres, landing it dead centre in the six-yard box and successfully adding £200 to his tally. Option 2 is called the Accumulator. As mentioned earlier, this grid at one end of the pitch is made up of four areas. The 18 and 6 yard boxes, the goal itself and the crossbar of the goal. Different amounts of money are assigned to each of those areas. Then a total of five footballs are thrown forwards towards the grid. Dependence upon where each of the five footballs lands within the grid will determine the final amount of money you, the club, will be donating to a charity. Here you can see an example with amounts used just for this example. If three balls land in the 18-yard box, one ball lands in the 6-yard box, and one ball hits the crossbar, that would add up to a total of £650 donated to charity. Option 3 involves you, the club, securing four sponsors, one for each area of the grid, who will be willing to donate an agreed amount of money if any of the five balls thrown land in that area of the grid. So there you have it, an entertaining halftime show chosen by you, which raises an amount of money decided by you for a charity of your choice. And how much will this cost you? Absolutely nothing. We'll not charge you a single penny to bring the throwing challenge to your club. Our fee is simply the satisfaction of having raised much needed funds for your club's chosen charities. There would only be one thing that we would ask from you, the club. In a further attempt to successfully reach our £3,000 target, we'd be extremely grateful if you would donate a signed shirt from the two teams contesting the game to which we attend. This would then be framed and auctioned off, with all the proceeds again going to the club's chosen charity. The throwing challenge is already underway, making its debut at the John Smith Stadium during the Huddersfield Towns League fixture against Birmingham City. When I heard about the throwing challenge, I did actually sit back and, and just think for one moment Wow, this really does harness and engage so many things related to the football club, to sport, to fans, to education. It just ticked so many boxes and not just that, the fact it was actually going to raise some money for a charity, in particular the Huddersfield Town Foundation, made me think, yes, we've got to talk to Danny and Colin, we must pursue this and get them down to the football club. The throwing challenge was, was bespoke to our need. So it was moulded, it was shaped,
to accommodate our football club and we worked in partnership and harmony which was absolutely fabulous and we gave a match day experience at half time to our fans that they've never had before and might never have again. I can honestly say to you the vast majority of the fans that day stayed where they were. They were so keen to see Danny do this and, and to achieve this goal and also not only achieve a goal but raise a substantial sum of money for the Huddersfield Town Foundation. So to find a gentleman like Danny and Colin, for example, who will come along to a football club and do it all for you. Couldn't ask for any more than that, could we?